Good morning, my brothers and sisters. <laughs> uh, either the sun is breaking through in my little front space, uh, or this is my halo, right? It's a little off to the side, a little crooked. <laughs> uh, I hope you're well today. Uh, just want to give us something to pray for together. And uh, as we, again, think about being rapidly Jesus-focused, right? Just dialed in. Uh, it, it was making me think this morning about um, Jesus at the end of his life, uh, right before the night before, actually the night of uh, his arrest, uh, talking to his friends and using this metaphor of him being a vine and us being the branch. Uh, and the way he says it is, uh, if, right, there's an invitation in that, right? It's uh, if we get to choose, but if we abide or remain or stay connected to him as the vine. And it's a we, y'all. If you all abide, you all will bear much fruit. That's <laughs> what he's saying. It's uh, if we stay connected to him, then naturally, in the way that a branch connected to a vine, naturally, uh, fruit will come. And, uh, and I believe what we're praying for is that fruit is a profound level of life change that uh, people who are missing out on life with God or the depths of life with God and what's next, all of us are missing out on, on how good life with God can be in some level. But there are folks who are missing out uh, now and in danger of missing out forever. Fruit is to see change in lives, us becoming more and more like Jesus and loving more and more like Jesus. Uh, there's just this theme in the Bible over and over again that, that if we go deep in to God, he will send us then far out into the world he loves. And I know you want to go far out into this, uh, our world where we live, work, and play. And that has to begin by remaining in the vine, right? Going deep into him. Uh, and so uh, I thought maybe we could pray together the last few days. I've been uh, praying through Romans 12, uh, uh, preparing for a teaching. But as I'm just praying, I'm not thinking about that. I've been actually thinking a lot about you and about us and our conversation and about how he's writing to a church and the way they ought to operate. And uh, so I thought we'd just uh, pray through the first two verses of that passage uh, together. Uh, this is Romans 12, and I'm again going to kind of read it and pray through it um, through uh, the uh, version that is the New Testament for everyone. And I'll send this link to you as well. You don't have to use this version. It's just uh, one that I'm hearing things a little differently through as I read it. It comes from a, uh, a British uh, Bible scholar and bishop, a guy named N.T. Wright, uh, who translated this New Testament. Uh, so I just kind of read it and pray through it. So let's do that together. And if you want to continue to kind of read and pray through these two verses throughout the day uh, or the rest of the week, then uh, that could be a really good way to remain in the vine, right? Uh, so as, Father, as your dear family, as your sisters and brothers, uh, as the, the children in your family. Um, uh, Paul is appealing to us by your mercies, appealing to us, Father, uh, uh, let us offer our bodies as living sacrifices. Let us put ourselves on the line. <laughs> uh, let us uh, put it all on the line. And let, our, let that sacrifice then be holy and pleasing to you. Uh, we want to worship, help us to worship together uh, in a way that brings our minds into line with yours. Align our minds with you, and as we have a vision for what you want, then we can begin to live into it. Align our minds with yours, Father. Uh, and Father, what's more, don't, don't allow us to be squeezed. Don't let us squeeze ourselves into a shape that's dictated by the present age. Don't allow us to be shaped by the world around us. Allow us, uh, as our minds are focused on you, let us instead be transformed by the renewing of our minds so that we can work out what your will is, so we can wrestle in to what your 
good will is. <laughs> and that will, that will, let's wrestle into it together so that uh, we can see and experience what is good and acceptable and complete in you. And we pray this today together in the name of Jesus. Amen. Grace and peace to you all.